Oh, hey, Rick, can you spot me? I have three. Three. What? What are you trying to do here? Incline? You know, you could do this for legs. You told me you have to do heavy to growing, no? All right, I guess you want to die then. Come on. No, 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 tell me. Come on. Really? Should I do it? Dude, don't waste my time. Man. Hey guys, welcome to Generation Iron Podcast. Thank you for joining us. Your host, Victor Martinez, Esan Farahi, Vlad Yudin, and Edwin Mejia. Thank you for joining us once again. Again, again. What do we have, guys? What do we have? What's every, stirring in the pot? Every it week, like hot it. and hot. Go on. Come on, Vlad. Just when we think we're done talking about steroids, they're pulling us back in. Man. Another again. one, another one. But you know what, Vlad? I don't mind them because let's keep... The fans and everyone out there educated. And be happy. Yeah, and be <laughs> happy, guys. <laughs> Somewhat happy. A little muscle on the side doesn't hurt. <laughs> exactly. Today we're talking about the most dangerous steroids, according to Google. <laughs> <laughs> most, most dangerous, dangerous. steroids. While we add it, we're going to add the most dangerous alcohol. Okay, guys? Yeah, exactly. That, yeah, that's a good, that's a good one, actually. That's Meaning good. they're all... All alcohol. <laughs> dangerous <laughs> to a certain extent and the best thing is not to start or if you are going to do it regardless in moderation well, educated the white claws are not as dangerous as tequila no or is it the same white claws is so mm -hmm. anavars is not as dangerous as freaking hollow testing we can, we can make an allergy <laughs> liquor and steroid <laughs> analogy actually that's a good he, one, right? he's actually he actually comparing alcohol and steroids exactly very, very so white claws are like the the least dangerous and but then, drinking off white claws guess what you're still gonna get you and know, that's bacardi 151 that's like bacardi yeah. 151 is 151 like 51 is the trend so he's a he's a he's an expert of the liquor yeah you can't I'm not a, <laughs> yeah <laughs> Damn, so it's so it's you liquor him that's good <laughs> listen man i'm gonna have my few tonight i mean come on guys you know. all right check this out so according to google this is a list of most dangerous steroids let's see d-ball max d-ball max, max aka just d-ball there you go C clembuterol Second. That's not a steroid, guys. No. It is not a steroid. Well, they messed up. See? Trenor Trenorol. Trenor Which is Trenorol. Trembolone. Mm -hmm. Or Tren. the bootleg version at your local GNC, Trenable, <laughs> whatever, Trenolo. And the fourth one, according to them, is Winsol. Wins 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 Which Wins is Winstrol, a.k.a. Get Shredded, Get Ripped, Johnson. Olympics, 88, no. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so, Johnson uh, was the first Is this a good list? Or is the first it, one that put it out in the market. Yeah. Did they miss someone on that list as far as, are these the most dangerous? Oh, yeah. One of them is not even a steroid, according to This them. is a problem for internet. If you Google anything speci specifically for steroids, it's you bullshit. cannot find a right way. You'll have to hire him. To no. explain. <laughs> or yeah, Google. Okay, yes. explain. Explain why Google is wrong. No, I mean, there's actually worse steroids, bad steroids, but definitely, um, I would say hollow testing is one of the no, worst ones. What is that ones. exactly? Yes. Yeah, it's it's, it's, it's one dangerous. that you use as a finisher leading up to competition day. Max four weeks. Max. Oof, even four weeks, you're kind of yeah. asking for it. You're going to definitely get the uh, yellow glow-in-the-dark eyeballs. Yes. Meaning you're about to shoot your for liver condition? out. Is that for conditioning when you say thinner? Tightness. Tightness. Dries you off. It gives you that rock hard look, ba but it's it's a fine line on that one. Basically, they destroyed your liver. Yes. Don't they all destroy your liver? In time, they seems all do. That, seems in do time, it. the orals, they all do. But this one, we just do it in uh, expedited time. You know, so <sighs> three weeks, 
Yeah. It's about the window. You can push it for, but it's hopefully your last show that you're doing. You, you didn't take a lot of, uh, your enzymes were low to begin with. Mm -hmm. You know, Is it an injectable or oral? It's oral. oral. Yeah, usually oral. orals are the worst ones for the liver. And, Turan, uh, Turan is bad too. Turan is not good. Turan, like I always keep saying, you know, it's the crack. Yeah. It's the crack of steroids. They, I mean, you you see the result very fast. That's why they, he called crack. And you're addicted for the results. But if you do continue more than six, seven weeks, again, they destroyed your liver. Yeah, I mean... All the most anabolic steroids this destroyed liver in the liver. So what is Listen, that? man, mm -hmm. you, you take trend. I mean, first you're gonna you're gonna have the the trend stench, trend skin, mm -hmm. trend, trend look, skin, yeah, the trend, trend look, and it's again, it, it's uh, I, I would consider it. Yes, guys like to run it longer for <laughs> 10, 12 weeks. If you're in your 20s, you can actually push it. You're in your 30s, I, I wouldn't recommend you guys running it for that long. Mm -hmm. I would say use it for the last half of your cycle leading up to a show. If you're not competing, just, dude, just, just stick to the primos, man. What is train coughing? Train <coughs> cough. Oh, man. Makes you cough for real? Yes. Once, once you, really? you know, inject that chemical into your body, it goes into your bloodstream. Your lungs. Can't, that can't be good. Your lungs man. start to be, oh, yeah. Man, I'm having flashbacks, man. All oh, the train <laughs> cough. Jeez. <laughs> That's you brought it back. <laughs> so what else? It's would you not put fun. It's not good. No, it's not good. You cannot. It's just not basically. worth it. I mean, the pros and cons. I mean, yeah. come on. It's but just people, not is it still people still use this this steroid? Guys are using it more. Not trend. Now. I'm talking about the other one that you said. The other, the other. How it's yes. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's widely used. But but again, again, these these especially these two drugs they are for professional, not for amateur. Unfortunately, the the kids in the gym they hearing trend how they go in the uh, black market and buy it, which is, is not real, and using it. This is wrong, wrong, wrong. You right. have to, first, first, you have to find an original one. The right original. Things. Yes. Oh, man, the, that's, that's hard. So, uh, that's, that's actually one of the things I was going to ask you. Is there a difference between lab-made, and I think we spoke about in the last one, lab-made versus factory-made. Oh, there a difference? always. Of course. From yeah. from from sky to earth, it's very different. Really, right. and all has to do with the quality of the raw products that are being used. You know, lab made again. They're, they're cutting corners. They're not really right. restricted as much. You know, now you're looking at factory made, which is by reputable company like Organon, Steris, which is no longer around. Eli Lilly and all those other companies, they use high end because they have certain protocols to follow. Uh, again, where they're also getting the raw products, they're getting it from real good sources. Right. And when you're looking at, you know, lab made, you know, now it's, you know, I'm not saying all labs. Some labs can actually get a good connect. You know, mm -hmm. they get good connections uh, where they get it from. I mean, sometimes they get it from the actual factory made. Well, ones. if the product is discontinued by the factory, the only way you can get it is from the lab, right? Yes, yeah. on the labs, they will make it. They do a lot of spin-off steroids. They do a lot of uh, a, a stack steroid. You know, we, the stack is basically they'll combine three steroids in into one, one. Into one. That's yeah. convenient. Right, right. right. I'm, wondering convenient. What, I'm wondering what they use in trend for, for as a, for what? The, Again, just, the, the, just the bodybuilder using or no, no, the doctor using No, no, people want a for? quick look. You know, you're going to the beach. The end of the month. No, I think he's saying outside of bodybuilding, what outside. people use trend for. Like, yeah. It's what just, is it intended for? It's just literally for look. I mean, don't they have oh. these guys called the, the trend twins on <laughs> trend twins. social media? What? The trend That's twins. catchy, trend twins. trend twins. Yeah, I mean. Double T. Catchy, right? Double T. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The, the trend, uh, it's very catchy name. Actually. I don't know who they are. I think somebody brought them up the other day. And they, they said uh, they're being coached by somebody to – you know, juice up the right way. And uh, that's good. The Trend Twins did that, you know, but... Uh, it sounds like Tren, like Tren, Trans. Like Tranny? Like, no, sounds no, like they're not yeah, Trans. Sounds like it, but... <laughs> they're not that's the different. Trans Twin, they're the Trend okay, yeah. Twin. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> to be coming out with wigs looking like RuPaul. Yeah. <laughs> Trend up, boys. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, but, yeah, uh, well. you know, it, it's all fun and games where they're, you know, in, in their teens, late teens, early 20s, 
you know, for social media, going all crazy. Ah, look, yeah. And, uh, but then when you're, you know, you can't get a rise, not even out of your sunset, you know, and the rise I'm talking about is not the sunset. Yeah. When you can't get a heart on and you meet one of your young girlfriends and all that, you know, you ain't going to be laughing them. Yeah. Mofos. <laughs> <laughs> but on that list, you, you're reading in the Google, uh, Clint Bedroll. Yes, that's Clint, on the list. Yeah, Clint is another steroid, but is one of the dangerous fat burning, which is, we talking about. Which one? Uh, Clint. Clint. Clen, Clen, Clen. Clen is really not that dangerous, you know, because Clen, should not be on a list, man. Google, oh, yeah, man. Clen, it's basically, you know, something that you can use basically for asthma. You yeah. know, it, all it does is open up your mm -hmm. lung capillaries. You take it, you keep taking it, and guess what? It gets to a point that it actually doesn't work. Yeah, that's why you have the you know pre-contest regimen of two days on one day off three days on yeah. two days off and all yeah, that they have port portico, uh, yeah. i mean it said you know you take an antihistamine with it it's supposed to you know take off that effect that you can actually use it more consistently but uh trend is not the one that's really going to put you you know on some crazy you know steroid off the chart, you know, hormone imbalance. But know? any other names of steroids come to mind when we're talking about the most dangerous steroids? Anadrol. Anadrol can be dangerous. Anadrol, Anadrol, what is yes. that? Anadrol is... And what is it used for exactly? Man, you, you take Anadrol. They give you power. The yeah, they give you power. They give I, you I size. Wouldn't doubt, I wouldn't doubt anybody that's doing heavy lifting or PRs, whatever, one, two reps. I wouldn't doubt they're definitely ODing on, on, mm -hmm. on uh, Anadrol ODing. because... You can actually Does it give you like supernatural it, strength? Dude, you could take it like 30 minutes to an hour before your training and you're lifting buildings, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, wow. again, it's cute at the moment, but it's an alkaline 7, you know, steroid. So, so it was a danger. It's a crack happen. too. Yeah, yeah. It's crack that, too. It's crack to the liver, man, because <sighs> it's fast acting, but the faster the steroid, you got to remember, that means it's metabolizing real fast in your mm -hmm. system. Mm -hmm. It's also running a train through your freaking organs. So it's better you're saying stick to creatine then. Stick to creatine, <laughs> you know, I mean, NO2, take your, again, guys, what is the point? What is your objective here? You want to look good. I mean, you could do that without all this stuff. Right. You're rushing. I know life is moving so fast. You got to see between the blurs, okay, yeah. but, you know, are you going to be doing this 5, 10, 15, 20 years from now? Probably not. Probably not. So, you know, <laughs> to take it. I'm yeah, joking. Again, they're not. They're not. They're, once they crash and they wish they, they could go back, they, once the damage is done, it, a lot of it is irreversible. It seems like uh, the common thread here is the liver gets damaged very quickly. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. What, about, kidney? what about kidneys? What about kidneys? Do they get damaged? Kidney too. too. Kidneys take a hit if you're yeah. dehydrating it a lot. Um, again, based on the person and genetically, mm -hmm. everybody's, you know, built differently yeah. some guys can get big on one cc once a week once a month mm. some guy you need 10 yeah. you know and so that's the difference and not everybody's what's a cc like. exactly that's a measurement of what's a cc come on Vlad. you took a cc before a minute, right? <laughs> <laughs> For real, that's, that's like one of the what was it, it's in a yeah, syringe yeah. yeah it's right? a syringe yeah yeah that was a that was a boston lawyer which used to be called three c team three ccs that was three and, you know, Boston Lloyd actually passed yeah. away recently. And, and uh, did you know Boston Lloyd? I didn't know him. No, but you heard of him, yeah? Yes, yeah, yeah. of course. But but I think but, you guys posted him, no? I think when you guys posted him, I'm yeah, sure we have yeah. at some point. Yeah. I mean, I remember Boston Lloyd when I think it was uh, he got caught in the whole web of <laughs> you transporting. Know, you and know, it's great, oh, real did he? But he was he was actually very ad advocating for steroids, and he was supposed to be. A lot of people don't know this, right? He was supposed to be in Generation Nine too. As one of the one of the sub characters. Yes, yes. And then he found out that Rich Piana is now they're both dead, obviously. But he found out that Rich Piana is in the movie, and he's like, "No, I can't be in the movie with him." He hated Rich Piana, and I guess Rich Piana hated him. Hated Rich. He hated Rich Piana. Yeah. Rest in peace. Some kind of beef there. I don't Why know. the hate? Why the beef? You know. And he was like, "No, we had all the plans to, to get him." In, and he was like, "Maybe he was took the most. Maybe he was more <laughs> famous and more make money." That there's some the kind time. of beef over something. I don't know. I'm. I take more steroids. No, I take more. <laughs> I love steroids. No, I love it more. But as a, as a what was the argument? Right. 
I mean, it'd be mutual. one of them is on the East Coast, the other one's on the West Coast. Exactly. Rich, Rich lives in Florida, right? I think it's well, I mean, at the Rich, time, in, yeah. the time he was in LA. from Sacramento, I believe. Yeah, he well, he's no, California. when we filmed the uh, Generation Two, he was still living in, yeah, in yeah. LA, and, he moved in. and then he moved down to Florida. But I think he Boston uh, Law was in Florida, too. Yeah, Florida, mm -hmm. Boston Law, yeah. I thought he was in Boston. <laughs> no, it's Boston. I think. <laughs> Exactly. I Yo, come on. Rest in peace, man. Let's not make fun of him. I'm not to, making uh, fun of him. I'm just saying, for some reason, I thought he was in his Boston. His actual name was Boston. It's incredible how young he was. So when I he thought he was in away. Boston. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Boston was, like was in the 20s, right? Six, and, something like 27 or something. Wow. Young, 27. Man, yeah. You know, again, sure. when somebody dies, I, I, I always feel, especially, I think mostly when they have kids. He had a kid, I think. Yeah. Yeah. yeah mostly when you have kids. Just, Rich did not. But as a one, you say kidney, liver, and heart. So many bodybuilders, they forget about check the heart. They just worried about kidney and liver. They forget about heart is a you muscle enlarge. too. They get enlarged. Enlarge. Steroid just, gets yes, everything big. Exactly. GH, the growing steroid is growing the muscle. And heart is the two muscles both together. Is it true that you, like if, you, if you take it, your feet grow in size? GH? GH. Is it true or not true? It happened more often yeah. when it was the cadaver GH. That one was like... It makes Man. your feet grow. Yeah. So you, you got to get bigger shoes. Yeah, yeah. It, it, the, the, old, the old school, I mean, not the old school. This is, this is all theory, actually. They say bones start growing from right. horizontal. So GH basically releasing body before 21. 14, 15, 16, until 21 mm -hmm. for you growing up. Right, right, right. So bones growing like that right so after 21 you close your bones cl shut down for uh -huh. growing the uh, ver ver vertical and then and then start to horizontal Interesting. if you look if you look in the boy boys it's narrow when they get man like a 30 40 -ish, they get more wider mm -hmm. that means body started growing this size mm -hmm. this way not that way so it's possible, but not too much. You feel it, but you have once, to you, you have to abuse it or to hmm. feel to see that. I know definitely the one I seen is definitely the uh, GH head. GH you know? head, yes. Yeah, with the big the head grows. Yes, big chromatinum <laughs> freaking forehead coming to the oh, front. Yeah. Shit, like half your That's brain is spilling over to yes. the front. And shit. Yes, you, right. you right. look all crazy, you know? It's a side effect? <laughs> yes. It's head growing. Crazy, and jar. Yeah. I'm, I'm Somebody a, with a big old head with a big Cro-Magnum <laughs> freaking forehead. I don't take steroids. I'm sure <laughs> yeah. All right. Off of what? Yeah. Off, of, off of which one? Of the... GH. 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 If GH, you yeah. use... GH? That's not that bad. If you're using it for a long time. So you have a big head just to look low body fat and a little bit of muscle and shit. <laughs> Meanwhile, you won't look any wider because your head is growing faster than your clavicle. <laughs> you look like aliens. So you look, yeah, <laughs> brainiac. So you have to build that neck because then you can't hold your head up because it's too freaking heavy. It's good for neck. <laughs> it's good for necks. <laughs> I had no idea. That sounds crazy, bro. Yeah, guys. Don't don't OD, guys. Just uh, you know, educate yourself. You know, you got to remember um, if it was so bad. Then why are so many doctors profiting right now in Florida in this multi, multi million dollar business called rejuvenation? This would not exist if we weren't. Do you think that rejuvenation will expand to other states? Well, the, you know, obviously the. the I mean, probably some conservative states. And it's funny when they say conservative, you know, they're so conservative. You know, right, because like, Florida is. Are you downloading more porn than every other state <laughs> well, that are not as conservative? Florida is a red state, right? So Florida is a red state. Red state is all camouflage, man. I don't no, believe well, I mean, this red, this blue. It's like, listen. Well, for people here in New York, let me give you an off example. The, every state. <laughs> Doesn't matter. We'll give you an example. People here in New York, right? You go out or New Jersey or New York. And you don't see those reju rejuvenation clinics here. Yes, you right? do so you see them. They're just not as crazy as Florida. Yeah. So you do see them. But in Florida, they're like everywhere. In Florida, they're everywhere. They're, they're like publicized. They have like, you know, less like neon signs. Florida. Florida. Really? They have less regulation. regulation yeah. So so there is more regulation here, you're saying? Like yes, that. there's more. You got to follow a little bit. You know, there's a rejuvenation but I don't clinic that, not though. too far from here. There's a few of them. Isn't like, so it's like, okay, weed is like legal. Marijuana is legal yes. here, right? But it's not technically legal in, play, in certain red states. Florida's not legal. Right? Yeah. 
It's so it's not it's not legal, it's not legal in states mm. wise, but it's, it's legal not legal in Florida. But meanwhile, I think it's not legal in Texas. But people getting it? like a hundred pounds a Texas? week no. from Florida, you know. So I'm saying they so, just grow it there. And shit, you know? Yeah. So my question is, why can't it be? Why it should be deregulated in a, in a way for it to come to New York, right? Because I mean, it is the thing is. I think the argument was, and I think Rick Collins, my man Rick. Rick Collins the attorney, put it in. Right? Yeah, your attorney broke it down. Basically, some uh, has to do with being present in a doctor's office where in right. Florida you don't have to be present. Right, right. right. So that's, that's, that's a little right? that's the little which difference. makes it easier to expand those clinics. Yes, yes. I, see I see what you're yes. saying. Now, yeah. now that makes a lot of sense. See, yeah. A lot of people don't know that. Uh, I didn't know that. Yeah, <clears> which yeah, is why yeah. you, know, you see a lot of bodybuilders, athletes, men going into these TRT clinics all over Florida. You don't see them in New Jersey, New yeah. York. And that's the reason yes. why. Yes, but more doctors. And, and also it had to do with a lot of doctors when they went to medical school that weren't as educated in steroids because of the medical community was, you know, Sean, mm -hmm. you know, they just looked at the whole steroid thing. That's bad. Negative. Negative, yeah. Of course. So Some that was do. passed on to the medical students. Mm -hmm. It's bad. It's horrible. But guess what? Now these doctors that learned that it was, you no, know, they were being steroids. taught the that doctors themselves not on, on it, but now they're educating themselves and they're knowing, no, oh, I can actually make even a better business of my, you know, medical education and open up my own clinic and treat people. Make more money. Yeah, make more money yeah. and treat them for their deficiencies. Sure. Basically, it's a new window for business. For it's, a, it's a better it's a window huge, for business huge. because... You learn what you learn in medical school. Now they're re-educating themselves to the steroid and GH, you know, thing that's going on around and they're, they're making do a better living. Do you think the doctors knows better steroids or professional coaches, bodybuilders knows better? I think we probably know better than most doctors, you know. I agree. Uh, aside from, you know, Dr. T, you know, there's mm -hmm. a few doctors that, Went a little above and beyond mm -hmm. and educated You're talking about Dr. Himself. T from Greece, right? Yes. yes. Yeah, he's of course, very nice, man. man. Is there another Dr. T? That's my boy. We have man. just one Dr. T. <laughs> <laughs> just one Dr. T, that's it, man. But uh, again, you know, and I'm sure he's helping a lot of doctors. So when you have the actual, you know, journal, you know, JAMA talking negative, you know, and this go all goes back to uh, the late 90s, early 2000s. You know, Maguire, Sosa, you know, Alex, it all goes back to that. Why? If you keep labeling steroids bad, 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 it's really diverting the young kids sure. mm -hmm. from not using it. So they had, I understood what they were doing. But again, if you study it right, you'll basically know there's a certain level that you can use safely and not have so crazy you know how barry bonds and mcguire that haven't done any type of like interviews or publicity after they retired probably because of that whole uh, stigma that they had around them you know what i'm saying i mean it's a whole stigma you probably know, they got the asterisk on the you know the yeah. hall of fame right exactly possibility right. and and that's which is like bad. It's, it's messed up i think you know yeah she has let them hit them balls and <laughs> juice up once in a while come on guys <laughs> it's not fair people say yeah but it's not fair i was like Dude, what is fair, like, right? Uh, acting like life is fair, yeah, period. I know, right? Who's exactly. to say that Babe Ruth wasn't on steroids, though? He probably exactly. Was. Well, on. Babe Ruth was drinking half a pint of, you know, beer or a full pint or more. Actually, five pints and then going out and playing, you know. It's, it's you know, times change, so things change. That's what happens. Hmm. I remember, you know? I remember, I don't know, you guys remember Daryl Strawberry? He used to play for the Mets and then the Yankees. That was Strawberry. He, was he told his, us crazy stories, man. He was on his own vices, you know. And he, he would get drunk before the games, like party all night long, then go, get drunk and then go to the game. Is he in the Hall of Fame? Is he? I don't he think he is, no. no. Um, but he should be in the Hall of Fame. He actually. should be. Uh, I, f I mean, I'm we're not yeah. a huge, you know, into That was Strawberry. I still remember baseball. him looking at him in the <laughs> play for the uh, Mets. Yeah, Mets and Daryl, Yankees. Daryl, Yankees. Daryl, he's a legend. Daryl, Daryl. I still remember his googly eyes and you see on TV. He's like, <laughs> yeah, I was like, him how and I know? <laughs> but the fact that he was able to party like this yeah. and then he play a, a good, full game. That's a good feeling. <laughs> yeah, hit there and smack the park. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so hit, hit, now him, I know. I was a kid. I didn't know. Like, 
Uh, Damn, he's, he's really, really into it. He's really into Him it. Him and into something else. But it's amazing he was able to do that and play. And what they want to come on, man. Well, that's nothing, man. That's nothing. LT, man. LT did it better. What did he? What did LT do? Lawrence Taylor, New York what, Giants. What did he do? You crazy? He will party. He that's will what freaking have five holes, oh, not sleep all night. And still have five sacks at a football game. Come on, how? man. How? Is it possible? Seriously. It's not possible. I mean, what is it possible? It depends if you're built like him. Only if you're impossible built like him. Impossible is nothing. That's it. I think the athletes that was have nothing, gotten man. stronger He called that a Tuesday. Yeah. <laughs> I said, how? Oh, I'm, I'm talking to one of the party bodybuilders in, in this. In nah, this nah, it, I, how, I could how? never. No, Explain. No, no, it, except I didn't, I didn't party and competed and perform. And shit. That's was, impossible yes. bodybuilding to do. Nah, right? impossible. It's impossible. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Performance, it doesn't matter. Compete or football play or basketball. When you do party and you're mm. using drugs, tomorrow you can't do it. Tomorrow right. you're dead, basically. But they did it. The yeah, and wow. did it. That, that's why I would have to say he's one of my favorite. Something special because of that. about him. And he's the master of sacks. Uh, I don't know who else. Uh, did, did Michael Strahan get as many sacks as him? I don't think so. I don't know. I'm not sure. I don't think so. I got to check my <laughs> records. Dennis Robin used to party and then... Play the game. One, one he shot. was uh, leading in uh, rebounds. Exactly. Leading rebounds. Then is. I'm so happy I was able to, you know, get drunk with him over at Club Eleven. How was it? In Miami. Yeah, of course, oh, man. I saw man. Dennis Rodman. I said, wow, Dennis <laughs> Rodman. I was like, listen, What Dennis. year was this? Yeah, what year was this? Well, I, w I went Club Eleven. I was there. My wife says I could tell this story. That was a that couple. Was good. That was like Yo, is the Eleven is the craziest club in Miami. That was like what? Like a great so, club. That, that must have been more than a couple of years. Nothing ago. better where you could get a prime steak, you know, a prime drink, and, and some the prime strip booty club too. on the strip club and good music at the same time. There you stuff, go. You know, how, it's how a better long, hangout than most clubs. Actually. How long ago was that? Oh hell yeah, not too long. Uh, not too long. No, no, not too long ago. Before well, the pandemic, no. Yeah, definitely before pandemic. Oh, that's a little, that's, but it's definitely <laughs> it's a, a little, good at least four years ago. <laughs> no, yeah. I said, look, Dennis, I don't want a picture. We're hanging out. I just want to get you drunk and get bombed over here, and that's it. Did he drink? Did he drink a lot? And he's like, hell yeah, let's do it. We you got, got drunk? drunk right there, talk crap. He was there with his manager at the time, and uh, it was a good hangout, man. I think we left wobbling at like eight in the morning it's open 24 <laughs> it's open 24 that club is open 24 7. 24 7. that place is the most infamous place in miami yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. now it is i'm sure and it's from been there my years. wife went to sleep i went straight to the beach <laughs> oh you were there with your wife wow yeah yeah it's all good again it's a better hangout than most clubs yeah. and the reason i say this about club 11 is you know especially for single guys mm -hmm. out there listen you go to a club, you're going to get a table, you're going to spend one to two thousand dollars on a table. And, you know, all you're going to get is the thirsty girls are going to drink up your bottles and all that. <laughs> and most likely not even put out. Guys, just, just go to 11, man. You don't need no table. Enjoy your time. Enjoy your time. And, <laughs> and you, you have a higher chance of getting lucky, really lucky. And over there, you, know? you cannot find any thirsty girl. <laughs> You're always gonna be thirsty, guys. You know? There's always a lot of thirsty people. Stay thirsty. thirsty stay thirsty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's wrap this up. Any any other steroids we need to add to that list to make it complete? Uh, it's dangerous. Anadrol, hollow testing. I suspension. Mean, suspension. Yeah. It is fast acting. It's, it's not suspended. bad, but most people just stop taking it because it's one of those uncomfortable. Yeah. You know, drugs that you take because uh, it, it just it's gives leaves a lot of inject. knots. It's yeah. very hard to inject. Yeah, very hard. Um, it very causes hard a lot of more. cysts. It's the testosterone water base, basically, is the testosterone in the yeah. water. All testosterone is in oil. This is the oil. this is the testosterone water base, basically. Wow. And it, yeah, it's it looks like uh, milk, and. You yeah, have to, you really, have to really shake it. Day. You know, some people mix it with the B12, B6. You can again, but it, it depends who makes it. Yeah. Or you will get a, a and a, who in, who take who yeah. give you basically. Yeah, and who's also administering it to you because yeah. you can make a lot of mistakes. And man, if you inject that thing wrong, again, just have some biaxin, some uh, cipro handy because. You get that infection, you start yeah, getting that fever. Because it's, it's water based, because it's water based. So basically, bacteria are growing in the water, not in the in the oil. 
So it's very, very common mm. if you take in the, the suspension and venous flow, both. Yes. Because, because it's water, too much bacteria is on it. So many people, when they inject, they get infection. Yeah. And if you get the infection, you have to take off that muscle out. Right. right. So I, what do you mean? Surgi- I, surgically? one of the, one of the, my, surgically if, if you let it get to that point. Yes. One of the, point. my friend, basically, they take off the full glutes of, he, he injected the glutes. A and whole glute. Yeah. They, they basically, exactly don't put, don't put hole, any winstrol, much. don't put any suspension on your shoulders. Yes. Or on your glutes. Wait a second. Well, they take out your glutes and then what do you do? How yeah. do you get it back? Yeah. You have a Down? flat glute. They don't, they, they don't yeah, grow back. Deflated glute. They take it off the you muscle. Have no, you have no glute? Mm-hmm. One of well, them. Well, again, it depends how untreated you leave yeah. it. Yeah. You know, how untreated. Well, according, I mean, if you leave it untreated, you, you're going to create a cyst and it just creates a big pocket of pus and oh. it has to be uh it has to be cut open it's gonna be a scar <sighs> or you, as soon as you start feeling anything is amiss just start taking the antibiotic fast yeah fast 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 wow. and uh i mean it happened it can happen to anyone yes again yes. it happens usually to the uneducated so if you're gonna do it get educated yeah get educated just do it right man do it please right. tell it Educated with professional athletes, not in internet. Internet yes. is it's not the yeah, good source. The Google, Google got the whole list wrong. Google is not a good source. I mean, the, the list is all over the place. I ask a question, doctor knows a stories or bodybuilder because of that. Be- I mean Doctors is gonna say don't do it, don't take it, and that's it. And that's know? and that's what we appreciate. Bodybuilders well. yeah, bodybuilders has experience for years and years, back to back, you know, they give them all the information. All the all the steroids yeah. bodybuilders taking until today, they're coming from experience, not coming from the science. Yeah. They they using as experience to to learn. Yeah. So I believe I believe coaches and bodybuilders knows better than doctors specifically from the steroids man we talk Just a, do we, it. we, we talk the funny a lot thing of, is most coaches look like shit, bro oh i'm, I'm talking about <laughs> real coach. Know. most coaches look like crap man i'm you talking know. about real coaches yeah. <laughs> the real coaches look like crap <laughs> that's the headline of the episode most Dude. coaches look like crap <laughs> no, but it's it's uh, you know but that doesn't mean they don't know a lot of times they do know they just they're doing so much, you know, training, training, mm-hmm. uh, training other athletes, telling them what to do, what to take. The last thing they want is, I'm not going to do this shit to myself, you know. <laughs> yeah. But that's it. But, you know, in reality, I mean. Maybe have, they're experimenting on the athletes, actually. You know. They who do. is the best looking coach? You guys know? Best looking coach. I wouldn't know the answer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like. Like that actually is out there who prepares a lot of athletes. I don't count because I uh, train I like two Barry, or three athletes. I would say Barry, Barry DeMay. He's Barry in great, DeMay. great He's shape, top shape. There Barry you go, guys. There you right? have it. Barry DeMay. Barry DeMay is very Master. good. Master. 88 Olympia. He's 66 he years old. Looking great, man. Or 88 or 87. He looked great, man. Always been a fan. Top shape. Love running into him in the airport anytime we went to <laughs> He's a great band. guy, yeah. No, he always, always, always is a pleasure to run into and... uh He's a coach and he looks good. He's living it up. And uh, does that mean the other coaches don't who know? Is that, who is they the do know. Nick, Nick Walker coach? Matt uh, Johnson. Matt Johnson. He's in good shape. Good. He's, he's, he's in great shape. Yeah. Yeah. Matt Johnson yeah. is good. He's young. He's young. Too. He's, he's young. young. He should look good. He's young, he's young man. man. He's young. But well, we comparing a 60-year-old, man. You <laughs> oh, should be Larry looking good, 60, man. Yeah. You should be looking good. <laughs> Come on, man. But at 60, mm-hmm. bar none, definitely... Uh, Undisputed at 60. <clears throat> yeah. Definitely him. Hopefully, next episode, we're going to not talk about steroids. We're talking yeah, about steroids. Yeah, hopefully. Not. A lot please, of us please, please, guys. Talk about don't. something else. I don't know what, guys. You want a different uh, subject? You want anything that wants to be discussed? DM Generation Iron. And uh, we'll definitely uh, bring up your topics. Okay? So, thank you for joining us. This episode, Generation Iron. You want to see any of our prior episodes? Please look at us. In uh, iHeartRadio, um, Apple Podcasts, and anywhere else you can download our episodes. But please be sure to like, follow, and subscribe. Thank you. Till next time.